Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are solving inequalities. These will, will be one-step addition inequalities like the examples you see on our title screen. We will be solving addition inequalities and do lots of practice with solving them in all different types today. Let's take a quick look at what some addition inequalities might look like. Here's some examples on the board. Notice they don't have an equal sign in them, but they have a greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to sign in there instead of an equal sign. That's what makes them inequalities as opposed to equations that we've worked with before. However, with addition inequalities, the great news is you're going to follow the exact same steps. So let's look at these steps that we've seen before. Um, the steps are, one, you find the variable. Bing, x is my variable. We ask ourselves what happened to it or what is connected to that x, and it is a plus 2. We added 2 to there. So now we're going to do the opposite, which is called the inverse operation. What's the opposite of adding 2? Well, it's subtracting 2. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of this inequality. So you'll end up with something that looks like this. x plus 2 minus 2 is greater than 25 minus 2. Notice on both sides of the inequality, we have just subtracted 2. Now we're going to solve. 25 minus 2 is 23, and x plus 2 minus 2, those two will cancel each other out, basically. Plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. So you just end up with x on the left side of the inequality and 23. x is greater than 23. Now the great thing about this is that we can check our work and know that it is correct all the time. All we have to do is substitute in some number that's greater than 23. So we could pick 24 or 25 or 26, or we could pick something ridiculously bigger than 23, like 1,000. And we're just going to substitute that back into our original inequality. x plus 2 is greater than 25. And we'll see, is 1,000 plus 2 greater than 25? 1,002 is certainly greater than 25, so our work is correct. If you picked a number that was less than 23, you would notice that as you went through, less than or even equal to 23, as you went through there, your statement would be false. But any number larger than 23 will check out as correct for this inequality. Let's try one with integers. We have a x plus negative 3 is greater than 9. We're going to follow the same steps. Find your variable. Where is it? Right there x. What happened to it? We added negative 3. So we're going to do the opposite to both sides of this inequality. We're going to subtract negative 3. Now, a note here, subtracting negative 3 minus negative 3 is the same thing as plus 3. So we're actually going to be adding 3 to both sides of this inequality. It'll look like this. x plus negative 3, plus 3. Negative 3 and plus 3 will cancel each other on the left side of that inequality. And then we add plus 3 on the right side for 9 plus 3, which should give us 12. x is greater than 12. We're going to check our work again, and we can use any number that's greater than 12. I like to use 1,000. Why not? So I'm going to plug in 1,000 into my original Inequality is 1,000 plus negative 3 greater than 9. Well, let's see. 1,000 plus negative 3 gives me 997, and that is certainly larger than, than 9. It's greater than 9. So my check worked out. I did it properly. I've solved it and checked my work. Now it's time for practice. I have the steps lists listed on the left. I'd like you to go ahead and pause this video. Check it. Work it through it and check it and um, see if, it, if you get the right answer. Hey, welcome back. Here's the answer key for what you did. I find my variable. My variable is A. I look at what's connected to A. I have a positive 2. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of this inequality. Notice that I've just subtracted 2 from both sides. 
Um, 2 minus 2 is 0. The left side leaves me with just a. And on the right side, I've got negative 8 minus 2, which gives me negative 10. I'm going to check my work. This says a can be anything less than negative 10. So I'm going to check my work, and I can pick a ridiculously small number to check my work as long as it's less than negative 10. So I'm going to use negative 1,000 just because, because I can. So negative 1,000 is definitely less than negative 10. 2 plus negative 1,000 gives me negative 998, and that is very much less than just negative 8. So this is a way I can check my work and make sure that it is correct. All right, here's another one for you. x plus 7 is greater than or equal to negative 12. Use the same exact steps you see listed there on the left. Solve it, and then watch the answer key as I show you how to do it. Okay, time to check your work. x plus 7 is greater than negative 12. My variable, x, what happened to it or what is connected to it? Plus 7. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides of this inequality. x plus 7 minus 7 leaves me with x by itself on the left. Negative 12 minus 7 gives me negative 19. Now, I am also going to check my work, but this is, says that x can be anything greater than or equal to negative 19. I can use a really large number like a thousand. I can use a million. I can use anything that's larger than negative 19. So I'm going to make my life easy and just use the number zero. Zero is bigger than a negative. It's bigger than any negative, and it's easy to add. So why don't not just go ahead and do that? So again, I plug in any number that is greater than negative 19 back into the original inequality. Zero is bigger than 19, or greater than negative 19. So zero plus seven is seven. And I check my work. Is seven greater than or equal to negative 12? Yeah, it absolutely is. So that works out really well for me. Remember to practice, practice, practice. These are the same steps we use for solving one-step addition equations. So they should be pretty familiar to you. But make sure to practice those steps as you're solving one-step addition inequalities. Here's a couple other videos you can check out to practice some more math things or some other fun things. So go ahead and click on those, check those out. Have a wonderful day.